All right, this is gonna be an unboxing. Well, second unboxing, cause I've already opened it, and uh, I would definitely say I have band aids on hand. <laughs> but um, this is the uh, American Tomahawk Model One. I got it in hickory style. Uh, a few things. No, first of all, I know you can buy this on their website, uh, and I think it's the same price on Amazon. Uh, I think it's being sold through them through Amazon as well. Now, I bought this. Um, because of its uh, historical significance. And I'll do another video comparing uh, the models and, and things like that. Uh, I got some other Tomahawks like from some reenactor companies and things like that. But uh, uh, I know there's a lot of Tomahawks out there, a lot of models. And like I said, I think I should do a video on that, on which Tomahawk you should narrow down your focus on. Um, now, the whole in interest in Tomahawk just came about with, um, well... I don't know if I have an explanation for that. Why? Well, I, <laughs> I don't know how you were to even start. But anyways, this is a, this is not that kind of video. We're we're gonna I'm gonna talk more about tomahawks in our video and my research on this. Uh, but this is the American tomahawk um, model one. Okay, and it does have a historical significance of being used in Vietnam uh, on a on a, a a small scale. I mean, it was an issue to every soldier or anything like that. Um, but they did serve time in Vietnam. Uh, I think there was maybe. I thought it was like somewhere around 400. Google it, double check me if you, you really need the number, um, which is probably uh, not that much in the grand scheme of things. But uh, it did come in, uh, you know, uh, let me show you, uh, you know, like a, the regular mailer, plastic mailer type thing. Um, so this was what was in there, okay? And I didn't have a scissor with me at the time, so I just ripped it. I forgot what was even in there. Um, but it opens up like that and it actually wraps around like this and I see there is a part I did have pulled out already but I'll show you why uh, they kind of wrapped this cardboard in there okay but once you because it was it's actually this is what it looks like when when you get the box but this is actually folded in there so it's like that this cardboard wrapping is over it but you can take that off put to the side and you got the box okay with their symbol um now i probably gotta wipe the blood off <laughs> i already cut myself uh yeah there's some blood right there i gotta uh wipe it uh actually, well it came with the sheath already on it and i think that's what made it a little dangerous um this kydex holster or sheath or whatever it was uh but this is the way it comes okay uh it's uh it came like this okay there's nothing in these it just to hold it okay this is to attach it to the these little straps of the kydex so you can put it on your uh like hanging on your gear in here there was a few directions and uh well here's some of the historical significance on here um so this blade was crafted by the american tomahawk company chattanooga tennessee uh the tomahawk i've seen the Vietnam War firsthand, where it was used to protect and breach for the soldiers that used it. Now, over 60 years later, we re, uh, recreated the first, finest, most reliable tool out there. All these. Uh, so, you know, my channel has been uh, focusing so far on military surplus type stuff. So, and, and that just, not just because of the channel, it's kind of my interest. Uh, so, I did um, uh, opt into, you know, because there's all sorts of cool tomahawks out there with cool uh beater spikes or whatever they call them and stuff like that uh different uh, uh blades with different angles and spikes and things but i did you know i wanted to narrow down something that has historical significance um that was used in in the military uh i mean you can go far back as i think the the actual uh concept of the tomahawks um well i mean the first start of the tomahawks basically of course they're native american uh, but the 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 style that they started trading to the Native Americans uh, was in the style of the uh, uh, British uh, boarding axis. Um, I don't know all the details on that, but that's why I came up with uh, on the internet because and actually that made a lot of sense because I was thinking like, well, I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I mean, you comment below if you know more about history of Native Americans, but I don't see. I've never seen depicted at least in anywhere uh them being like uh blacksmiths or things like that so um they may have started off with tomahawks being stone or something like that and then the british started trading with them 
um, these little small axes that were really boarding axes, which I'm, I read on the internet, and I'm assuming a boarding axe would be like the kind of axe you would use to board another ship. <laughs> um, that's what I would think. Um, but anyways, uh, the historical significance would probably be like a, a, a one of those original axes like that. Um, and, uh, well, they did have pipes in the back for some of them that they were trading with the Indians. Uh, so maybe more like an original style. I do have some from some reenactment group, uh, I mean company, a reenactment company, um, that focuses in on the, you know, uh, 18th century style stuff. Uh, that's another good place to maybe get, uh, access. But as far as like military surplus, besides going that far back that you're talking about history more than, uh, you know, uh, more modern surplus um now this is not military surplus at all it's a recreation what happened is this company went out of business um uh you know after vietnam war sometime and uh somebody in about 2000s brought back the company they got the guy who actually made the uh the tomahawk style the 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 pattern of the the blade and the, the sp spike and all that and uh, they recreated it again, and they're still doing that. Uh, so I think this has more significance uh, out there. Now, one thing is I did not order it from the official site because I did see that <laughs> uh, it was un unpainted. Now, on Amazon, there was – most of the pictures have it green. Um, and um, there was one picture, though, uh, that did have it, like, bare like this. Now – when I say green, I'm talking about this OD Vietnam green kind of color. Uh, I, I really feel like this OD green, this shade, screams Vietnam to me. Like army surplus stuff from Vietnam. Um, I want it like, I mean, it looks like, it looks like I'm going to have to paint it. I'm going to have to, I'm going to do a video. That I'm going to have to match that green and paint it myself probably. Um, which is a shame. I wish I had it already done for me um so you're getting the first looks at it right now uh, like i said it was in this kydex holster pretty sure it's kydex yeah it's like molded around it and here's the problem that's why i said to have bad aids on hand because apparently it's not a toy um which they should have a warning for i'm just kidding with you i knew it wasn't a toy but um i don't know oh, wait i got blood on the handle too So, yeah, uh, it's really sharp. It's so sharp that I, I don't know when I cut myself. I just saw blood all over my hands. Okay, so this seriously is not a toy, even a grown man toy. This is this is a serious thing here. Um, now, when this was in the Kydex holster, it does have a, like a retention uh, button system, kind of like you see on some uh, pistol holsters and stuff like that. Now, you do have to, like, it won't come out unless you do it with, your, like, a thumb break like that, okay? But I did notice that once I popped that open, I, it's it was still stuck in there. Like, it's, now, I don't know if maybe if I loosen this, what I did with next was actually I, I looked in this envelope with all these documents. And you get, some, you get some instructions, but it's, like, instructions on how to hang this onto that uh, and attach to your gear. Um, which is this one. Uh, there was a paper on the historical significance of this. Uh, there's a lot of information on how to pull open the snap I just showed you, which is uh, weird because I, it was really on there pretty good, but I guess like maybe if you didn't have experience with gun holsters, you, you wouldn't know that it's like a thumb break. So this seems to explain that. Uh, I'll read a little closer better later, but I'm pretty sure that's all I was talking about. And then, um, this is just a lifetime warranty, but, um, there was no, uh, there was nothing about pulling it out of here. Uh, now I know some gun, gun holsters will have like a screw or something that will, you know, increase, decrease the retention, um, on like, if you're talking about the gun holster. Okay. Now I'll mess with that later. Um, I don't feel like that would be, I mean, it looks like. The screw for this so i don't see how that's gonna but i mean it's possible i guess I, I i will mess with it later um but and let me see 
Let me just make sure I'm getting all. <laughs> okay. Um, so, if you're wanting the uh, oh, and actually, they're they are using this is the only axe company and the only I'm sorry, axe company, tomahawk company. Uh, they're really a, a knife company too, I think. But this is the only pattern style tomahawk that has been officially like using the military as like it has a the, like an army surplus uh code uh you know how every item has a code number uh like a nato number i think it's called uh, i mean you can just look at an old pair of uh fatigues and and you'll see like all these numbers with dashes and stuff that uh, it's a nato number it's like the supply equipment number um now they have uh modern day ones of these uh they did get a contract a while back i heard i read uh but it's for the ones with the uh like like a polymer handle i think it is or some kind of plastic it's it's even more rugged than the wood they said uh, but i went with the wood because i figured that's what they would have probably had in nom can i say nom i guess um uh, and so this to this day these are in striker uh i think those are armor personnel carriers right striker vehicles and it's used as a like a, a like a firefighter tool, like it is like a a rescue tool, okay. But it's a a tomahawk too, right? <laughs> um, but I don't know in Nam. It seems like the stuff I was reading, the, the few that had it, were using it like a, a you know like a, a melee weapon. Maybe I should say I don't know. Um, but I, I didn't research it too much. I just know it does have history of this pattern being used in vietnam it's also currently being used in striker vehicles uh and it was given the uh nato um stock number or inventory number whatever they call that comment below you got to correct me on that uh it does say rmj usa on there rmj well this is called the american tomahawk company so i don't know what the rmj would be uh, American Tomahawk Company. Yeah, that's what it says on there. Now, interesting pattern. Like I told you, there's a lot of Tomahawks out there. But why just get a random one that looks cool when you got one that has, you know, historical significance and a uh, military... Uh, it's military application, right? This this has military application um, background to it, okay? Um, now, how I cut myself was... I was rocking this back and forth. Now, I, at first, the first time I got it out, I don't know how it happened. It was like, just kind of slipped out easy. I was definitely making sure my finger wasn't near here. But I wasn't sure if this was going to cut me too. I was, it kind of came out effortlessly almost the first time. I don't know what I did. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe I needed a twist or something. I'll play around a little more. Uh, but the second time I put it back in, and I really was rocking at it and pulling it. Uh -oh, and... Well, I mean, I thought it would just be a pull out, so maybe I got to try the other things. But I was uh, rocking it and then uh, got it out. I even looked at myself and thought, oh, I'm glad I didn't cut myself. I, I didn't even feel nothing touch me, so I think I did good. I went to another room and I, I go, I wonder if this thing's even sharp because, like, like I, I felt like it, it might have cut me if it would have touched me. Uh, and I ran my finger on this along this blade here. This one doesn't appear to be sharp, but it does have a bit of a point. Like if you put all the pressure into that, it's going to pierce something. Um, now, at that point, I saw this blood on my hand. Like it was like a lot. And I, um, then I realized I cut myself. So this thing cut me and I had no idea when or where or how. So that mean to that tells me that this is really sharp, okay. Um, so let me try to zoom right there and give you an idea of the blade profile. Look at this, and like I said, um, I feel like there's a lot of tomahawks out there, and to narrow down your choice on um, which one would be worthy of you carrying or. Um, buying you know and by carrying i don't mean out in the streets like I, I i'm actually thinking about uh carrying this out with me and some camping adventures and stuff like that with camping and hiking it's not too heavy like it does have some heft to it uh but i know a while back i was gonna go camping and 
I was going to go in some area where there's bears. And I wasn't a resident of that state. So it's not like I could have just... And they had no re reciprocity. So I couldn't take a firearm in that state. Um, you can't even buy even ammo or, or or anything if you're not a resident of the state. Um, comment below if you know what I'm talking about. Unless more than one state does that. Um so I was thinking like, you know, I would feel a lot more comfortable if I'm bear territory and I had a shotgun. <laughs> I'm serious. Um, but I mean, all I would have had was like a little knife, um, which honestly, I, I'd rather run or something than, than try to fight a bear with a knife. Right. Uh, well, I mean, not like it's going to do any good. Right. But uh, I feel like hey, if I thought about this back then, I mean, that might be able to maybe I don't know. You tell me. If you have more experience with bear, uh, it, that can go into the skull at least or something. You know, I mean, you got a lot of, uh, what's that called? Uh, fulcrum torque or something? I don't know. Um, I mean, leverage. There's a lot of leverage, a lot of power is going to go through there. Uh, I do hike uh, in my local area or in an area where there's a lot of, um, what do you call it? Mountain lion, right? And I've heard in California, well, I don't live in California, but... California, I've heard stories of people getting attacked by mountain lions, and it does happen. It doesn't really happen that often in my local area. I don't think I recall ever hearing it, honestly. Um, but I've heard of it happening in California, right? Uh, I don't know if some of you guys might remember that story about that guy who had to, like, choke one while he was being attacked. He was just a, a jogger out on a trail. So, um, you know, I'm surprised he lived uh, <laughs> with bare hand fighting uh, a... Uh, mountain lion you know so um hey maybe this might not be good for a grizzly but uh i think it's better than nothing and i definitely think maybe you can keep a, a a mountain lion at bay or something you know i mean you should have something now the only thing is i gotta weigh the pros and cons now because i am seeing some some weight to this i don't know if it'll be too much for a kit uh you know as far as being heavy and um i mean i might want to take it hiking i mean as a personal protective tool and, and i mean it's great because it, it could fall under a, like an axe a utilitarian tool you know it's not necessarily like you're carrying a weapon if you have this out camping or hiking but uh it could be used as one uh i mean and i think just versus a regular axe i mean it, it's it's designed to be used in that role so uh it's kind of like dual, dual role so i i think i think it's a great option uh, I am going to want to paint this. Uh, I just rubbed it on there again. I hope I didn't cut myself. Um, we'll see, right? We'll see. Um, but I'm concerned about this Kydex. I want to see if maybe that screw would loosen it a little bit. Um, if not, I, I don't know. Maybe I got to pry it like upward or something like that. I, I don't know. We'll see. But um, on top of the weight issue, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I think it still might be worth even if add a little weight. I gotta check this. Think about the safety, because I don't want to accidentally cut myself out on the trail, and who knows how bad that can happen, right? I mean, honestly, I was. I mean, if I'm out somewhere, I might carry a firearm, uh, to for protection. If, if like, and I'll feel okay if like a mountain lion attacks me. I mean, even though like some people might say you might not have a chance to even realize what's going on, I just it makes me feel better. Now, one thought was that hey, maybe I can give this to my son who can't legally carry a firearm out here but I, i'm i'm a little worried about this blade um about the safety of that because uh you don't want to accidentally cut yourself real bad out on the trail where you're walking hours into the woods you know um that just doesn't seem very good i mean it, i gotta weigh the pros and cons and we'll see if i can get this working a lot better or maybe maybe i could just get another sheath um make another one somehow or something uh we can see so I guess my only disappointments are that it wasn't painted all the way uh, and that maybe I should have had at least some directions on how to use this. Uh, otherwise, it's it's too tight. It's a safety hazard pulling it out. Now, if I get this stuff on there, maybe it could be pulled out better because it's not like, you know, you're pulling while you're holding it here. Um, maybe it'll give it a little more leverage or something. I'll see. Uh I'm going to mess around a little more. I'll make some more videos. Uh, I'll show you my other Tomahawks. But yeah, if you're thinking about 
uh, what tomahawk should I get? And you're a military surplus kind of guy, and you like the historical significance of an actual tomahawk that has military applications, NATO number, everything, contract with, with the government, uh, American uh, tomahawk company is pace to go uh, online, and uh, this is the Model 1. You can get the polymer handles, but like I said, if you want to go old school, you probably want the wooden one. I'm guessing they would have had that in, in NOM. And um, I don't know, maybe you can ask that company to paint the handle too. I would have loved to have been able to do that. I just didn't see a way. Um, I mean, I guess if I want to spend a little more time on it, I could have emailed the company and called them or something and requested it. So uh, maybe my next video might be painting this thing so all right uh that should uh cover it oh one more thing i would like to mention is that uh, uh i do like how this box oh i did not even see that okay uh before i look at that i do like how this box is i mean hey you can you can keep it in there like permanently store it that way you know you don't accidentally cut somebody <laughs> or something in the house um so these little spacers here that hold it i mean it's great the box is reusable it's not like they mailed this um just you know and got, it got all crushed or anything they did go through the effort of protecting it so you got the box to store it as well so that was pretty good and on the back i'm i'm just seeing this for the first time uh <laughs> okay um yeah, you can pause that and read that if you want. I only really read half, and I, I think it might just be like a funny thing. Uh, <laughs> let, me, let me keep reading that, and uh, I'll do that off screen so I don't uh, waste any more time. But uh, here's all the info in case uh, I say, yeah, I know I did say American Tomahawk Model 1 OD green head, natural hickory handle. Okay. Um, well, if I had saw it like that on the website, I would have known that it was an OD handle as well. But uh, all right, signing off. I might want to take them up on that uh, hot cocoa marshmallows for getting an owie boo-boo. <laughs>